Alright, what's good, what's good? It's the one and the only, but what do I know? Boxing back at y'all, man, and we have a fight. Uh, fresh off the way in with Joe Smith Jr. versus Arthur Betterbeev or Arthur, Arthur Betterbeev, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm excited for this matchup, man. This we, it's a unification matchup. Um, I was watching the video and I saw somebody comment, man, like, man, it's a shame that the, the light heavyweight division doesn't get that much shine. But, you know, this is what happens when they actually fight each other, man. Like, you got to think about it, bro. The light heavyweight division, bro. How long have Arthur better be if and um, Dimitri Bivol been running that show? And, you know, they haven't even fought each other. You know, we're just now getting a unification bout. The last unification bout was uh, Arthur better be against uh, uh, Alexander uh, or whatever. The guy that beat, knocked out um, Adonis Stevenson. So... You know, uh, with Sergey Kovalev at one point, you know, it was Sergey Kovalev had a belt, Adonis Stevenson had a belt, Arthur Better Be had a belt, and I think Bibble had a belt. And, you know, we couldn't get none of these fights. So, uh, this is what happens when they actually fight each other. So, um, kudos to Joe Smith Jr. and Arthur Better Be. Um, now, I want to throw, uh, I want to want to go ahead and put my, my, my two cents in as far as the prediction. I'm finna actually throw a monkey wrench in there. I think that Arthur Better Be will win by decision, though. Like that's the crazy thing about it. Uh, I, I I have Better Be winning by decision. I I know that sounds crazy, but I Joe Smith Jr. is a tough guy. Uh, he fought with a broken jaw. I have a feeling Joe, Joe, I also have a feeling not only do I think that it's going to be, he's going to win by decision, but I think that Joe Smith is going to actually push um, Arthur Better Beef. I do. I think that Joe Smith is going to actually push him. I think that Joe Smith is going to make it a tough fight. I don't think that Arthur Better Beef is going to knock out Joe Smith Jr., bro. Uh, Arthur Better Beef being 37. Um, very powerful guy. I think that, but I think that Joe Smith is gonna give him a tough fight. I do. Um, nevertheless, uh, I, I'm, I'm excited for this one, but I do have Arthur Better Be winning. Joe Smith, though he has like long ass arms, he doesn't really use them um, the way I think he should. It's a dope ass tattoo. Though. That's a really dope tattoo um, on Arthur Better, I mean, not on Joe Smith. But regardless, um, I, I'm excited, bro. I'm super excited about this fight. I think that um, Archer better be being more technically sound. Um, I think I, I I think that that Joe Smith is going to have to actually box more um, by using his jab more. But regardless, man, I'm excited for this fight. Um, hopefully, we get to see the winner against uh possibly two fighters i, I want to see the winner fight all right either dimitri bivel or gilberto ramirez bro i think those make for great great fights i'm excited i'm excited about that man uh i want to see this i want to see this fight bro i want to see uh the winner of these two fight the winner of well i well Gilberto Ramirez is um, Dimitri Bivol's mandatory, I believe, or he's like number one in the uh, for that belt. But I don't, I don't know if that fight is gonna happen yet. We do know that Canelo was gonna fight uh, Triple G, so I don't know what Dimitri Bivol is gonna do next. However, man, I, I just I want the winner of these uh, these two uh, to fight one of those guys. But I'm looking forward to it, man. This is an action-packed fight, and this is what we needed more in the light heavyweight division, man. The light heavyweight division was talked about when Bernard Hopkins was around. Um, then, obviously, you know, Bernard Hopkins got old. He retired after he lost to Joe Smith Jr., uh, his only knockout loss where Joe Smith knocked Bernard Hopkins out of the ring. I think it was like the eighth round. Uh, and and the, the light heavyweight division just kind of went blank on this guy. So I, well, actually, I take that back. I take that back. Actually, when my dude, the light heavyweight division was actually was uh, talked about when my guy, my favorite boxer of all time, Andre Ward, was uh, up there to fight Sergey Kovalev. Um, 
Sergey Kovalev, who has who dominated uh, Bernard Hopkins for 12 rounds straight. You know, that was it. Like heavy was talked about then, but it kind of got quiet over the, the years, and mainly because these guys haven't been fighting each other. I've always uh, I've always pushed for like better be and Sergey Kovalev um, and uh, Dmitry Bivol to all fight. But that fight, none of these fights ever was ever made. And I, I just thought it was so crazy because everybody was so quick to push the welterweight division to fight each other, right? But n nobody was calling for none of these fights that like I've been calling. You know, only a select few have been calling. I think uh, 78 Sports, 78 Sports was one of them because the LDBC has always been big on, um, on um, Undisputed. And now we, it seems like we're in an era of Undisputed. Uh, but said, shout out to the LDBC, they've always been big on pushing for Undisputed. But um, I know 78 was one, and maybe a few others, but I didn't really hear too many people just call out like the, the light heavyweight division for not fighting each other, um, aside of me and you know 78. Um, however though, I do feel like, man, um, I do feel like this is gonna bring light into the light heavyweight division. I mean, we, like I said, we're, it seems like we're pushed, we're in the times of undisputed and that's a beautiful thing, man. We got an undisputed at 135. <clears throat> we have an undisputed at 140. We're looking to get undisputed at 147 um, this year with Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. We have undisputed at light heavyweight, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, junior middleweight, super welterweight, 154. That's why I like using the numbers instead, like I don't all too many damn names. Um, we have um, undisputed at 154. We have undisputed at 168. You know, it, it seems like we're we're push we're at the time pushing for undisputed, bro, and that is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So, um, hopefully, like I said, the, the winner of this fight will have three belts, and the only belt that'll be missing is the belt. What, is, what belt is uh? Bilbo have the WBO or the WBC. Whatever belt Bilbo has, um, that's that's the only belt that'll be out there, man. And we can get an undisputed at uh, light heavyweight, bro. I mean, this is what we need. This is what the sport of boxing needs: the best fight and the best. That will get the sport more talked about, you know. So, um, I I. I, I'm, I'm gonna continue to push for uh, the winner of this. And but of course, my favorite guy at light heavyweight is Dimitri Bilbo. I've always stated that. I think he's the most athletic, the best out there in at light heavyweight right now. Um, but again, uh, we, we gotta see these fights. We need these fights. These, these fights like this are, are what's saving the sport. We don't need, uh, we don't need, you know, these guys fighting Joe Blow, so. I'm excited about it, man. I'm, I'm ready for this fight tomorrow. But again, I do have Archer better be winning actually by decision. And I know that sounds crazy. And I sure as hell could be wrong. Um, but I, not only do I have him winning by decision, but I have it a, uh, I have it a pretty entertaining matchup. Maybe, um, let's see here. I probably will say 116, 112-ish. Eight rounds to four, should it be a knockdown? Eight rounds to four. Um, Archer better be by decision. That's my that's my pick, man. And um, that's what I'm gonna stick to. So let me know, uh, who are you guys rooting for? Obviously, uh, I mean, listen, Joe Smith, uh, hard working guy. I would like to see him win. A uh, hard working guy. Um, Blue collar guy. I, I would like to see Joe Smith Jr. win, um, but Archer better be man. That dude is—he's he, a monster. He actually beat Sergey Kovalev in the amateurs twice, I believe, and he was calling out Sergey Kovalev. So I've never heard Sergey Kovalev say anything about him. So I—I want to see that. I want to see that matchup, man. Uh, not well. Not obviously not Sergey Kovalev because Sergey Kovalev is not uh, fighting, even fighting that light heavyweight anymore. Um, but I would like to see him against D Demetri Bivol. I, I, I want my boy Bivol to go ahead and get get his name on his resume and put an end to that to that to that uh, undefeated record. But let me know what you guys think. Who are you guys picking to win this fight? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What, what do you want to see from each fighter next? But what do I know?